Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we have super, super sick news. Um, so, randomly, part of the OCG Stories Volume 4 promo. I don't know how many more volumes that uh, that Magistus is going to run through where it gets promo. Sorry, I just got home. I still have to pee like crazy. Uh, but I've been really excited to talk about this. Um, basically, since I got to work and saw that this got revealed. Uh, it's a brand new Magistus card. It's from OCG Stories. I'm really excited about it because I do think this card is nasty upon reading it. So let's get into it. This is Spoon. This is Spoon. You know, the name is what it is. What it is but uh, And the artwork's even harder to tell what's really going on here. But uh, she's in there. Yeah, can't really tell. But that's okay. Um, anyway, this is Spoon, the Seal of Magistus, which has it in the name. That's very cool. That's an extra bonus. She's a light spellcaster with a thousand attack, a thousand defense, level four. You can only use both of its effects once per turn each. And its effects read as follows. You can discard this card, then activate one of these effects. Add a Magistus monster from your deck to your hand, or the attack of one face-up monster your opponent controls becomes halved. This is not a quick effect, but like I guess there could be a scenario to cut something in half just to get over it, um, or get in for a bunch of damage. Uh, that's fine, but mainly you're using, this is just Rota. This is just a monster Rota, uh, which is already good in the first place. Like That makes immediately makes this card good, that adds consistency to the archetype. Second effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster you control as cost. Equip one Magistus monster from your extra deck or graveyard to it. This card is nasty. This card's actually so good. Um, I'm very excited for this card. I think this card and Chirozo, like both give significant buffs to this archetype. Chirozo can be abused a little bit generically. Um, in other strategies, but in this this card is going to specifically make Magistus significantly better. Here's what I love, right? This is Rhoda. That's great consistency. That is cool, especially if the archetype does get just more tools uh, that are good. Like just being able to see them more consistently is obviously a bonus. What? 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 Sorry. There we go. Um, the other part, this graveyard effect is so so nice. I mean, I think one of the craziest things to me. This graveyard effect borderline could make this card a Rota that beats Ash Blossom. Like literally you go discard to search and they go Ash, right? Oh, I don't want them to find their best starter. If you just put any body on the field, any single body on the field, you can banish this card from grave because this does not have to target a Magistus or a Spellcaster or anything. You could have gone special Fenrir, right? Banish this card, target the Fenrir, right? Equip a Magistus monster from your extract to it. You equip Artemis, then Artemis effect, search another Magistus, and you go off from there. You do whatever you want to do from there. This also just puts a body in Grave, which is low-key really nice for Zoroa. Because uh, Zoroa reborns a monster when he gets attached with something, so that's a good uh, bonus as well, as being able to reborn her. Uh, before she uses her graveyard effect, right? Discard or add Zoro, Zoro effect, equip. Zoro, when he's equipped, reborns her. Boom, there you go. Synchro plus Artemis, and you get into, you get a bunch of free resources. Uh, the deck's not there yet, though. I will say that, like, this card and Chirozo are really nice for the archetype. They do not get the archetype there yet. One thing we really, really need to see in the archetype is a legit good monster extender. That's one of the pieces I've wanted to see more than anything. So I think for me... I'm looking at this point for a legit good monster extender and a legit end board piece. Like, uh, the big Synchro Zora, that card's good, but like an actual interactive one is something I would like to see. Maybe some quick removal on the opponent's turn, whatever. It could be a fusion, it could be a link. Maybe, I, I, a lot of people have stated that I think every summon type, I think the deck has two Synchros, two fusions, two Exeeds, only one link. If they get a link two, Maybe it's a link to with a decent actual interruption effect on the opponent's turn, and then the goal is to make Zora plus that, and then maybe there's other tools we can get into as well. That would those are like the two things I'm looking for the most. Obviously, I expect us to get more than just two cards. I think that we'll probably even get uh, Magistus cards, maybe even in a Christmas product in the OCG. Uh, that's what they did with Sky Strikers when they were the focus of the of the structure stories or whatever it's called. Yeah, OCG stories. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, but this is a really, really nice bonus. I honestly just came out. This came out of nowhere, but this is a really nice card for the archetype. We're getting closer and closer to 
uh, this deck actually getting into a playable state, and I'm really excited for it. So there you go. Um, really cool. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, I'm just somebody who has, has really been eyeing Magistus because it really hasn't had a chance to really be something um, great. But uh, from the outside looking in, it looks cool. This is a good step in the right direction. This plus Chorzo. A Chorzo? I can't... Whatever. Um, but yeah, really excited to see uh, what the future holds for this archetype, for sure. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down below. If you know more about the deck, if you are like a huge Magistus person, you know the very ins and outs of like everything it does, all the cards it has synergy with, let me know how this card works in um, to the Magistus situation. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Keeping you posted on all things Yu-Gi-Oh! news, so subscribe if you want to see more videos as stuff drops. But I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.